10,000 in-flight magazines retracted after offensive misprint on Phuket Heroines cover story. Sister and mom of missing American join search in Phuket. Phuket police didn't find any bomb threats during Songkran, but still on the lookout. Phuket police nabbed major meth dealer, seizing 7 million bots worth of drugs. Louis Vuitton bomb scare at Phuket noodle stall uncovers women's cosmetics. Double team thieves rounded up by the two police. Sixty-three-year-old Indonesian man nabbed at Phuket Airport with five kilos of coke. Police react to social media demands for action by presenting re-arrested thief busted a week on parole. Ten thousand in-flight magazines retracted after offensive misprint on Phuket Heroines cover story. The Thai language editor of We Smile in-flight magazine for the Bangkok-based low-cost carrier Thai Smile flew to Phuket with a senior executive of the company on April 24th to make an emergency ceremonious offering to the Heroines Monument in Talang, which was followed by a formal apology from the company to the people of Phuket. Phuketians on social media became enraged when photos of the in-flight magazine April 2015 edition cover went viral earlier this month. The cover story was about the two famous heroines of Phuket, namely Tao Tep Kasatri and Tao Si Suntan, who are celebrated for leading the repel of invading Burmese forces in the 18th century and thus maintaining the island's autonomy. However, the title of the two heroines was misprinted on the cover. Instead of the royal title Tao, which has a tone mark placed over the initial T consonant, the cover read Tao with the tone mark placed over the vowel. The problem is that Tao means foot in Thai, and since the foot is the lowest part of the body, it is very offensive to associate it with revered persons or objects. Following the social media uproar, the CEO of the company, Kun Waranet La Prabang, was notified of the reaction in Phuket and immediately urging editor of the magazine, Ms. Chit Supang, Chai Wirot, and a senior executive, Ms. Net Napang, Tirawat, to fly to Phuket at once to make an apology on the company's behalf. In Phuket, the two performed the ceremonious flower offering to the two statues in Talang before formally apologizing to Phuketians through Ms. Gon Tichat Watanapan, committee secretary of the Tao Tep Krasatri and Tao Si Suntan Foundation. In addition to the apology, it was agreed that the company would retract all of the 10,000 magazines from all of its planes at once, and furthermore, should attempt to communicate with its customers this month to request any and all issues that might have been taken off the plane to be returned and destroyed at once. Sister and mom of missing American join search in Phuket. Phuket Governor Nisit Jansomwong, along with the chief of the Phuket Tourism and Sports Office, Sandi Bawai, Marine Police, and officials from the Royal Thai Navy met on April 20th to welcome the mother, Joshua Duvine, the American who went missing. Marie Gallant, Josh's mother, and his sister, Jennifer Bukowski, arrived to Phuket on April 19th where they met Mr. Devine's wife, Tatsana Devine, who brought them up to speed on the search efforts for Mr. Devine. 
but so far the search has upturned nothing, and after seven days the two American relatives were due to fly to Pattaya to speak with reps of the company who operated the boat from which Josh went missing. According to the sister, their main objective is to find out if and why the boat didn't immediately lead the search for Josh, as it has been reported that the dive boat went to go take other divers to go diving before resuming the search for the missing American. Marie and Jennifer are then planning to go to Bangkok to report their findings in Phuket and Pattaya to officials at the U.S. Embassy. Phuket police didn't find any bomb threats during Songkran. Phuket police commander Pachara Bunyasit has assured that police are still confident and prepared to respond rapidly to any security threat. The commander received regional orders to order all of his provincial police to be on heightened alert following the recent Samui bombings. The orders passed down from the Region 8 Police Command in Surat Thani mandate all police in the region to, to step up security procedures, especially during April with lots of activities taking place on the island, especially with roadside police checks with EOD bomb detection units dispatched to key areas. During the recent Songkran period, Thorough security inspections were carried out at 10 major checkpoints across the island, and police will continue to coordinate with other security personnel to ensure that any threats or emergencies are handled swiftly, the commander assured. Phuket police nab major meth dealer seizing 7 million bots worth of drugs. At 1.30 p.m. on April 19th, Police Commander Pachara Bunyasit held a press conference to show off their latest seizure of 36,000 meth pills and 874 grams of crystal meth, or as it is commonly called locally, ICE. The dealer police had pinned was named as Miss Ampon Ma'am. Grison, a 27-year-old resident living in Sisena Road in Phuket City's Dalat Yai subdistrict. Along with the drugs, police also presented the suspect's Siam commercial bank account book and said that their catch this time was worth 7 million baht. Police said that the suspect, an ex-con, was involved in the trade through her contacts in prison. She allegedly earned 2,000 baht for each pack of meth pills, about 4,500 pills, and 2,000 baht for each hectogram, 100 grams, of ice that she moved. In 2011, police had seized 3 million baht from the suspect's bank account, which they believed was the product of drug dealing, for which she was incarcerated initially. She was currently in the process of proving the money's legitimacy when police arrested her this time. In closing the press conference, police have asked for the cooperation of retail operators with parking lots to be on the lookout for any suspicious behavior, and if they spot any cars parking for longer than usual periods, to take note and report to the police at once. Police have stepped up surveillance and inspections in anticipation of any security threats following the car bombings at the Central Department Store in Gotsamui earlier this month. Louis Vuitton bomb scare at Phuket noodle stall uncovers women's cosmetics. The island's anxious EOD bomb detection and disarming units were called to the scene of a popular Yenda Pho noodle stand on Badipat Road in Phuket City's Dalat Yai subdistrict on the evening of April 24th. Police were notified by the noodle stand operator that there was a suspicious checkered brown Louis Vuitton bag sitting lonely near the busy noodle stall. The bomb squad quickly had the area within a 200 meter radius evacuated and brought in their EOD detonation signal interference equipment to cut off any remote signals. Onlookers nearby were affected as their mobile phone signals were lost. But it was soon discovered that there was no bomb in the bag, only cosmetics. Police then concluded that it must have been left behind by a female who had noodles earlier. Better safe than sorry. Pair of 
double team thieves rounded up by Gatu police. On April 24th at 11 a.m., Gatu police held a press conference at Gatu police station to shame two pairs of thieves. The first pair, minors at age 14 and 16, managed to rob a currency exchange booth on Rasadon Utit Songroi B Road for 80,000 baht worth of currency in April 22nd, in April 22nd, and April 24th incidents, including both dollars and Thai baht. Police also seized a knife and five motorbikes which were reported stolen. The second pair of thieves were natives of Trang, named as 21-year-old Wirasak Ton Yimseng and a 25-year-old whose nickname was Bomb. The two, on a motorbike, bag snatched a fancy bag from a Chinese tourist on Batong Beach Road of an expensive fancy bag supposedly worth upwards to 100,000 baht along with a brand new iPhone 6. The tourists present at the press conference thanked police and promised to return again next year. <music> 63-year-old Indonesian man nabbed at Phuket airport with five kilos of coke. A well-traveled Indonesian man, Jimani Iksan, 63 had stepped off in Phuket after a long air circuit that started in Bogota, Colombia, passed through Panama City, Panama, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Dubai, Qatar, and finally Singapore before winding up in Phuket on April 20th. But under the watchful scrutiny of Phuket Customs, the man was arrested with drugs said to be worth 15.6 million baht on his possession. Inspectors found 5.2 kilograms of foil and plastic-wrapped cocaine concealed in hidden compartments and, and three hardback books, and also in rolls wrapped in foil. Customs were suspicious when his bags passed through security x-ray machines. Bogota, Colombia is considered the world capital of cocaine production and sales, and home to some of the world's most powerful drug cartels. Police think that Germani was due to deliver the drugs, to a dealer in Kaulak. Police react to social media demands for action by presenting re-arrested thief busted a week on parole. 25-year-old Pongpon Ma Bundet Piti was presented to a press conference on the afternoon of April 21st at Phuket Police Station. It was revealed that on April 17th and 18th, Ma had broken into five cars parked on Yawara, Dibuk, and Panga Roads, making away with 4,000 baht in cash and a mobile phone, while identity documents and cards were also lost. Ma was nabbed at the Sapan Ruam community in Ratsada along with the vehicle he used in committing the robberies and the scissors he used to break through windows. Police said Ma took the money but had gotten rid of any documents or identity cards. It was also revealed that Ma had just been released from prison on April 10th, serving time for the same exact offense. He was pinned with 25 robberies in 2009 and 2012 and finally released after pledging an oath that he would do honest work once he got out of prison. Within a week of his release, he was back to robbing. The suspect confessed that he was unable or incapable of finding any work due to a back condition. Nonetheless, Ma will be heading back to prison for his latest offenses while authorities have advised the public to be careful and not to leave any valuables in their cars. ได้มาอยู่กับพี่น้องคนค่า 
ที่จะรองรับโดยท่านไม่ต้องทำการตลาดใดๆเลยด้วยครับนะครับเปลี่ยนกระพันโอท็อปให้ก้าวไกลสู่ตัวมาไทยได้มาเปิดสินค้าโอท็อปนักสถานที่แห่งนี้นะครับพี่ชายของผมนะครับได้ก้าวหน้าลุ่งเรือนนะครับทำยอดในเรื่องซื้อสินค้าเป็นการส่งผลให้28เดือนสายเดือนสองพันห้าร้อยห้าสิบแปดนักบุญชาติเดินทิศตะลุยกินตะลุยช็อปอุตสาห์รวมสามร้อยคูหากิจกรรมสาธิตการผลิตภัณฑ์โอท็อปหรือ KBO จำนวน6คูหาระยะเวลา7วันจะมียอดจำหน่ายประมาณเงินทั้งสิ้น20ล้านบาทเศษสำหรับการจัดงานโอท็อปที่จัดทั้งที่ว่าจัดจังหวัดภูเก็ตเดินถ่ายผู้บริโภคผู้ประกอบการโอท็อปและสำนักงานควรแล้วผมขอตราบเรียนเชิญนักธุรกิจองการพัฒนาจังหวัดภูเก็ตครับขอบคุณพัฒนาจังหวัดเอและหน้าส่วนราชการที่เคารพท่านครับทุกวันนี้เด็กเนี่ยสมัยท่านเป็นรองอธิบดีท่านไปตั้งเป้าไว้เขาหมดเลยเดี๋ยวนี้เมื่อเลยเป้ามันดีค่ะให้ผู้จัดการเป็นสินค้าใช้เข้าไปก่อนธรรมชาติที่ตรงนี้เพราะนั่นมันจะกระจายไปปากต่อปากดีกว่าเราไปโฆษณาใหญ่ที่สุดเลยค่ะเจ้าค่ะนะครับขอเป็นตัวคือด้วยนะครับนี่คือการขอแจกจากเป็นการนะครับขอบคุณนะครับแล้วก็ท่านอธิบดีอยู่บนเวทีก่อนนะครับเพราะว่าขอเรียนเชิญนะคะท่านอธิบดีมอบของคุณเจ้าค่ะท่านผู้ว่าราชการสมัครท่านบอกว่าเป็นตัวแทนแห่งการก่อเกิดความบริสุทธิ์